Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... Last time, we discovered that, uh, failing to get that optional objective wasn't actually my fault, it was Remedies. I don't quite know what to make of that. While Saga started driving back to Bright Falls, Casey and Alan got, uh, bushwhacked by a bunch of, uh, Cult of the Tree assholes with rifles and shotguns. Uh, Casey went out to shoot at them with exactly the same dialogue that played in the first scene we saw where, uh, Casey died. And then Alan was overcome with a supernatural migraine and woke up to discover the entire room splattered with an unhealthy amount of blood. Dead cultists here and there. Casey nowhere to be seen. And these scraps of flesh hanging from this, uh, deer's antlers. It kind of looks like that when a deer's, uh, antlers drop their velvet. But I have a feeling this deer did that for the last time before it was shot. At least I can't pet that. You know the worst part is, even after all that, I'm still not fucking sure this guy is Alan Wake and not Mr. Scratch. Can't go to the writer's room or the mind place or whatever. Hmm. Something I don't often do, uh, shout out to a comment I got in a different series. Shout out to Shane Reeves, who left a comment on uh, Power Wash Simulator saying, Muckingham, Bootyful. Filth Amendment. Saga Anderson would really like to live here with how many puns there are about the place. And remember, BDF, that isn't Metal Cleaner. It is the idea of Metal Cleaner. And it isn't a pressure washer. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination of stains, mold, and mildew. <laughs> I like that a lot. I suppose I need to walk out there. Follow this blood trail. Hello? Oh. You see, Justin, it's that time of day when the sunlight's coming in at a sharp angle and it's all d dull and red because the sun's going down. So, in addition to being splattered with blood and dead bodies, the room is glowing red. Lovely lighting. I don't have a flashlight either. I have a... Apparently, I have uh, an empty handgun and... Uh, Sorry, Revolver. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Are you sure? Because he really seemed to be judging you harshly there. Alan was suggesting that he can't create something from nothing, that his writing involves inspiration from the world around him, which I suppose is literally true of all writing. You can't create art in a vacuum. But it sounded more ominous in this particular context. I find it noticeable that... Oh, no, no, there's a body that isn't a cultist. Poor bastard. Oh, with a nice lady behind the counter. Uh, ah! Uh. Well, she's not here. Someone has barricaded the front entrance. Hmm. The head of that statue is so perfectly blending into the wall behind it in the shadow that I thought someone blew the head off of the wooden bear. Kitchen. Dead guy halfway through the window. Okay. Where is that coming from? I don't have a gun, you guys. I really need to I need to protect myself. Oh, a flashlight and a shotgun. A gun and a flashlight. Not nostalgic. No ammo. I see flashes off in the distance, but Again, no shells. 
And these guys do not respond to bluffing. If I stand out in the rain long enough, all this blood will go... No, this shirt is fucked. Honestly, with that much blood, I would have taken it off. I mean, consider Ellen's health is full, so that's not his. Oh no, it does have... It said no ammo, but I suddenly actually see that I have two in the lower corner. Great. No sign of anything over here. Fine. Fine, I'll go get myself killed. What's this flashlight say? Nothing. There's no flashlight in my items list. Weirdo, this looks exactly like the shotgun I found in the dark place, huh? Almost as if it was based on this specific gun. That's Casey. He was still alive. Running. Oh, oh. Okay. Burning those away with a flashlight, certainly. This is the moment to destroy it. I just dropped half my health! <laughs> Fucking tree! Fight him with the darkness now. Great! I'm now completely out of ammo, and this guy is dead. I wonder if I knew that guy. Oh, weird. The way he fell, his necklace popped off his neck and landed in his fucking mouth. But it's draped over his nose, so I'm absolutely certain... Because of how silly it looks, I'm absolutely certain that isn't some kind of, uh... hidden message in the, uh, animation. Well, I'm... totally screwed. I can whack people with my flashlight, but that's it. I hope that was an aimed at me. Ooh, box! Ooh, ooh. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they oh. letting themselves be taken? Or did the Dark Presence not discriminate? I don't think they know they're being taken, Alan. Found one shell. Amazing. Casey's just managing to stay ahead of me. Hey, big guy! Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, big lady! Oh! Oh, right, no, fuck, fuck! I don't know why I was doing- you know what? I was hitting left trigger instead of right trigger to hit the the, the, the flashlight because he's holding the, the the flashlight in his left hand. My bad. I just pulled a fucking Clive Barker's Undying over here. Where your character was left-handed and held his gun to his left so that you could shoot with left mouse button and cast spells with the right mouse button. Well, maybe this time I can actually pop that guy's uh, darkness shield on the first go. That's Casey. He was still alive. I just do not see that guy in there at all. No, no. Can't just clear it away from one side. Okay! I saved one. Excellent. What a difference taking down the shield mates. Dead cultist. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the dark presence not discriminate? I had some real extremes on his voice, huh? down here in this register. But he's calling out in this register up here! 
And I wouldn't have thought it possible from the way that guy talks. Nope, nothing out here. The pressure in my head was unbearable. Scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. I don't like that. So that makes it sound like Scratch lives in your head. You can see how I don't like that, right? There is no way out. What the fuck? The presence? Is that what that sound was? Wait. Casey! Look out! It's him! Scratch it! Uh. Pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. That wasn't even a face. Casey? Where are you? Can I search that guy? No. Casey, I'm coming! Fuck. Where'd he go? He was on the bridge a second ago. <sighs> FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. No shit. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait, my partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it. Agent. I should be. Go home. Careful, moving wink. They think he's a para utilitarian. No. Fuck this. Took the words right so out of my mouth. I was to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Of chapter already. We watch in the night achievement unlocked. I drifted for I was lost at sea. The show was gone, it was nowhere to be seen. A diver sinking on the ways where the sun's never been. Hmm. Mm, to ocean green where shadows creep. And but we said. Dying for his art to make you finally see 
I didn't like any of that, really. I feel like that was the English equivalent of Jotun Yo, a song that sounds cheery and delightful, but has really, really dark lyrics, if you actually listen. Hmm. Tor and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Talk to the Andersons. Go to the Valhalla nursing home in the Bright Falls Wood. Bright Falls Wood? Oh no, I was thinking of the Cauldron Lake Woods, never mind. I was just gonna say, why the fuck would it be way out there? Well, let me check the crossbow. Uh oh. Hello? Oh. Saga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, Kilo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Same old tour. Something is off at that nursing home. Maybe the, the crossbow always looked like that and I just never fucking noticed. I don't know. I love that the description for the clicker is the supernatural light switch, because there's really no description you can give to the clicker that makes it make any sense. What do we got here? Oh, a page! Fuck yeah, been a while. The history of the Valhalla nursing home. Oh, oh, that's the switch reality puddle making that noise. Well, I had already gotten past that part, I guess. Return five old gods. Okay. Since I am, in fact, standing in a... Hey, that looks important. Oh, no, this is just the map of Bright Falls. I already have that one. Never mind. False alarm. Ammo check. Uh-huh, uh-huh, good, right. We're doing okay. Uh, just the one. Oh, actually, I can get rid of the uh, uh, rifle ammo, because I do not have a rifle. Put one of these trauma pads in here. Okay, where was I? First, I need to look at the case board. Valhalla Nursing Home. Tor and Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. And I'm glad Jesse's people finally got here, but goddamn. I don't know what I was expecting. Tor and Odin are connected to the cult and the clicker. With Wake and FBC custody, this is my best lead. I need to find out what they know. And then the only question is what do Tor Odin know about the clicker? Tor slash Odin. Tor is about to tell me something. What happened to Tor? I heard yelling before the call was cut off. And the next question is, is Tor okay? Cult of the tree. The cult tried to kill Alan Wake. Cult goal. What is their motive? Acting on Scratch's orders? Why do they want to kill Wake? Talk to someone. Ilmo Koskela attacked Wake while wearing a deer mask. I saw him with my own two eyes. No doubt Ilmo is in the cult. But what about Yako? Oh, yeah, and the other thing. Derp, that's why I went there in the first place. There it is, the history of the Valhalla Nursing Home. The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the Old Gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, cancelled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. 
Balance lays the demon. A couple of others. The old men rock with their namesakes. Oh. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Yeah, I do remember that. Uh, American Nightmare pitched it as uh, old gods on their uh, their comeback tour. With the, with, you know, there was even a joke someone made about the fact that, uh, well, they're still voiced by uh, Poets of the Fall, despite sounding absolutely nothing like their speaking voice voice actors. Oh, and the line that got weirdly uh, glitchy there was, The old men rocked like their namesakes. Hmm. Oh, by the way! That reminds me, I looked it up. The fourth member of Old Gods of Asgard, after, you know, Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson, and Big Bob Balder, was a guy by the name of Loki Darkens. And if that's not on the nose, I don't know what is. I think Alan was actually at the end of a chapter too, wasn't he? Well, fuck it, let's go check on him then. We know things are, uh... Well, let's say stable over here. I don't know that they're going well. Let's switch over to Alan. Oh, there's the timer. Parliament Street. I think I have something clever to say. But other than wondering how uh, Alice's photography exhibit might be affecting reality, uh, Someone has splashed the statue of Alan Wake with red paint. Scratch was closing in, gaining control. I couldn't let him escape the dark place. I had to keep him from Alice. I'm still kind of surprised that they didn't think to base this statue on Alan's look in the first game. You know, like a callback. He was wearing, like, four layers for some reason. Well. I can't even see the top of the building from here. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2 when we... head into this building. And what exactly are we doing? Just finding Alice. See if she's uh, there this time. Somehow I doubt it, but, you know, hope springs eternal. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't think that the FBC might become a problem, but I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh, well. Saga's got her mess to deal with. Alan's got his. And I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves, and stay in the light. <laughs>